We're back again. See how this one goes. Hello, Sandy. How are you? Let's. We've already been here once before already this evening. Hello, Debbie. How are you? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Di. Hello, Joanne. Hello, Trish. Yeah, we were on and then we weren't on. My fault. It's okay. It's my fault. And then I had to get it. I was organised. That's my problem. Should never be organised, people. <coughs> uh, yeah. Should never be organised. Hello, Leslie. Uh, no, it wasn't too severe. Very windy, but. But living in a cyclone zone, we don't have stuff in our yard, but we did have, we did have a rubbish bin in the, in the carport and it got blown around, but that was unusual for us to have something out, out there. Um, everyone else has got sound, haven't they? Guys, it's just got no sound. Okay. So you know who we are. Scrapbook Fantasies. I'm Elisa. Welcome from Creative Family. And you can find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram with at Scrapbook Fantasies. And it is Peace and Joy Weekend. We are having a virtual retreat this weekend. And so far we've done two classes in the virtual retreat group. We've done um, the scrapbook page and a pocket page so they're the two that have been completed so far today uh eight classes in all you get to make from your kit and including tonight and tomorrow night so we're at a different time because it's retreat weekend we're at 7 p.m queensland time so let's put that there Said to the ladies of Savo in Zoom, maybe we do something with the um, wreath builder for Peace and Joy. So maybe I should get all the bits for the wreath builder for Peace and Joy. There are 21 pieces. So let's see if I can find them all. All 21 pieces. They're in my little tub of bits and pieces here with my fussy cutting and all sorts of other stuff. Oh, these are all so we've already got one wreath builder this is wreath builder number two this is our second one our first one is with traditional christmas oh, oh, oh here's some more bits is this no line what's that ah uh, yes it is you can find it i'm sure you'll find it I like that. That's fussy cutting. That's not the wreath builder. I think this possibly everyone's favourite fussy cut is the car. I think maybe, or could be the car with the gifts on it. A lot of planning's gone into this collection. This collection has been. That's not the wreath builder. This collection has been in the works for over a year. Yep. So we've had the images for this one for well over a year. 
and been yeah working on what what's going to happen with it. And we've also had Jackie, Heather, Lee, Dee, Mary, Tan, and Ludley join us. So we don't know that yeah. And um, on YouTube we've had. Okay, so who's, oh, okay, so let me go back. So Sandy, Debbie, Di, Joanne, Trish, Leslie, Hannah, John. Uh, Debbie's got sound. We got hammered by hair. I saw that Leslie that got hair last night. Oh, okay, I see. I had it turned off. Oh, there you go. Um, hello, Pam and Mary. Hello, Quentin. You're meant to go to work. Hello, D. So these bits are fussy cut bits from paper two, and the rest of this is all from the wreath built. Oh no, that's a fussy cut piece. Rightio. So, if I put that aside. So that wreath builder is available. The paper's all available loose, and the paper pack has been available for a little bit. What are we going to do? Looks like a smiley face, doesn't it? the dark timber from paper one it's this dark sort of not black not purple not gray then not use another sheet of that I've already used a couple of sheets these are stripy. Nope. <clears throat> See, this is a problem with a start of a retreat. It's just too much choice. Do you like the dark? No. Oh, gosh. I'm scared of the Jesus out of me. It's a particular cat. It's a cat reenacting a horror movie. <laughs> cat is a horror movie. Which one will it be? I know which one it will be. It is. And she'll want you to come outside and play. No, no one's coming to play. It's messy, wasn't it? She's used up two out of nine lives. More than two. Would you like some suggestions? Maybe. There was a bit of a request to make the page look like a gift. Ooh, okay. I do like this. Who would the gift be wrapped by? Because that would be a different page. That would be person. a different page. I actually have a page that looks like a gift from years and years ago. I met someone who used newspaper as their wrapping and a whole roll of tape. Yep. Are you related to them? <laughs> Surprisingly not. And thank goodness. 
but some of my relatives aren't like that. Some of them that you share genetics with aren't much better. I've got two different pages going on here. Why are we going to put the photo on? I don't know. And did I see that you used a photo in one of your pages today? Yeah, a photo of you. Oh, stunning. Okay. three different bows. Who doesn't love bows? Love a good bow. Dad's computer is always going to dislike us. This way here you can only get like in this class kit or if you do the retreat or in your paper pack. That's the exclusive flair. That comes with your paper pack. So I design a flare that only is available. Paper pack. Oh, oh, back down in focus. There we go. So flares will get released tomorrow. I'm, I'm just trying to release it all sort of carefully so it's not all out in one big hit this time. Because sometimes we release everything in one big hit and it can get very. Um, Yeah, I don't know that's fine. So I just give you the correct word. You definitely oh. did give me the correct word there, girly. That means that I don't have to fussy cut because the apocalypse No, is no, tomorrow. you need to fussy cut that stuff for your class tomorrow morning. I am not doing your fussy cutting for but you. The apocalypse is coming because I can't. No, 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 no. We need a photo for this. What's everyone think? Do they think I've I've achieved it. Can I just stick it all down and go home? I That's think right. you need some gauze, actually. I am at home. I'll get out of town, you. We've only got one sheet of gauze to get us through the whole weekend. Well, don't use it because I'm using it tomorrow. Yeah, she wants gauze, so I'm not allowed to use it. I've got a plan. She's got a plan. Right. It's only taken i have still got to fussy cut these little flowers. My friend is not doing the fussy much fussy cutting. I did all the fussy cutting so far for our kit. We share a kit, Naomi, John, and I. So my friend is taking it to advantage. <laughs> yeah, my friend, my, my friend. But my eyes are not that great, so no. I think a white photo mat or this goldy colour. That's a good question. Could you have like white to the background? No, yes. but I'm thinking we might add a bit of this. This will be my third sheet of this paper. Oh, I'm thinking it needs it. I just think it needs that. Is this your new favourite paper? This, this one, one really? number, three. number three. Have you seen? I've already used two full sheets of it today. Too bad if you wanted to use it on the weekend. I have a mat. What's on the other side? Can I see it again? Oh, that is one of my favourite sheets. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. I do like the spots better. I'm more of a dolly person. Do you like the dots? I do like the dots. Nope. I actually went through this thing in art that I've only did like dots as patterns for like two years straight. So now she loses. Lee, that's not fair. Well, you don't want me to use the pink. No, no, Lee's like uh, snooze, she loses. She snoozes, she's like, yep, 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 yep. And she 
and Debbie's definitely going with the pink. She's suggested it. What's that? The pink? The pink. The pink. Oh, the pink is a question. Yeah, like maybe like trying it out. Which pink though? You can use pink glitter. Yeah, there's a tiny there's only a tiny bit of pink on this on this what on this use, flare button. I think we need the pink. What if you use like the pink glitter with like a white little border between your photos? This like is how much pink thing. glitter I've got left. We could do one of those like two triangles. I like this. So apart from using the Facebook or that paper three that we had, um, what, what, what learning sets have you used? None. It makes me feel very confident about my design abilities. No, I'm just, it's too caught. This is class three of eight. Oh, very true, actually. Uh, Jacqueline definitely said pink paper. Oh, what about the pink dots? That. Instead of the brown dots. Or the knitted jumper. The woolly jumper. Oh, yes. Maybe the woolly jumper. The woolly jumper, yep. Yeah. I Which think. Is like paper four. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Paper yeah. four. Yeah. I think oh, paper Marie's, four. Marie's joined us. So paper four goes with two, two cute. I haven't put it in the folder yet. Just. I have to, I'm going to have to be really honest with you guys. I am absolutely worn out. I am exhausted. I have so much to do and I am absolutely exhausted. And I know I should be resting more than what I am, but if I rest too much, it just won't eat. Yeah, so I'll be honest, I'm having a bit of a struggle at the moment. I am exhausted. Uh, I've had enough of not being able to drive. You know, like, I've got to wait for someone to take me to the hairdresser. I've got to wait for someone to take me to do my Christmas shopping. I've got to wait for someone to take me to do this. You know, it's not, I'm not enjoying life at the moment. The not, not having any freedom. I'm driven since September and I'm I'm really I've had enough of it. Well we could do like the learn of driving thing where like you drive and I'll spin the passenger seat. No. Oh, it's I'm not allowed. Wow. The doctor wrote a thing, I'm not allowed to drive. Wheels are made to be broken. No. There'd be no insurance if I drive. Okay, rules are not made to be broken. Had enough. I haven't lost my license, it's just I've got vertigo most of the time. Um, okay, so I've got a piece of paper number three, and I am going to cut it down to 12 inches. So don't just cut the barcode off with my papers. So this paper is designed by me. Um, okay, yep. I buy, I pay for a commercial license for the images and then I bring them all together. I recolour a lot of things. That was definitely not that colour. Uh, that was definitely not that colour. They were not that colour. That was not that colour. They were not that colour. Weren't even that co the colour that I used the last time I used them. So, yes, I do um, do a lot of zhuzhing around. So, Sunday, we are going to release our next retreat. And, yes, yeah, we've been holding off and holding off. But the problem is we might have held off a bit long because now it's, yeah. So, let's start by cutting this piece of paper one to 11 and a quarter inches by 11 and a quarter inches and I just want to have a look at what it looks like so maybe not cut yours until I have a look yeah that's not bad yeah happens with the 11 and a quarter inches yeah I think that's nice 
Okay. And then let's do let's do a scroogey photo. We decided I needed a jumper, didn't we? Let's from paper number four cut a four and a quarter inch by four and a quarter inch piece. And are we doing this out of the Pacific block? Or yeah, out of the knitted jumper. But yeah, sorry for whinging about how I feel. Just kind of bit over it all. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Leslie said that we were running flat out, so it's pretty understandable. So it's yeah. Pretty um, I'm over not being independent. I've, ha I've had a driver's license since I was 17. I, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I'm also wondering if they get a hint about um, the retreat might be. Has anyone ever seen my wedding photos? That's a bit obvious. Oh, when are we releasing this, by the way? <laughs> six weeks away. We've fucked the dates up. <laughs> so it's going to be... Thank you, Marie. It's going to be... So the next retreat is sometime in... Let's me find the 2023 calendar. Which one's that one? It's green. Because it's got two green ones. <laughs> right. Is this 2023? No, that one's 2019. No, that's blue. Oh, no, it's this one. It is green. Okay. So then it, I'll put my glasses back on. I oh, know it's March. Oh, it's February. Six weeks. Oh, actually, February. Might be six weeks. No. No, it's seven weeks. No, it's more than that. Eight weeks prior. No, it's ten weeks from next week end. So it's ten weeks from next Friday, oh. I think. Yeah. But you'll own, so that means you only have four weeks to book in. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a short lead time. That's if we run with that date. I'm just going to check Quentin's roster. So that piece of paper three, we're going to cut a one inch frame. So I'm lining it up with a one inch mark here on my trimmer. You can't do this with a lopper chopper. If you don't have a trimmer like this, just use a ruler and a craft knife. But be very careful. Have don't cut right to the end we're cutting to an inch short and an inch short we're chaining around so we're going to cut the innards out of this this is a really important thing to alleviate the weight weight in your albums i've always had little kids we've had little kids for a really long time i've been a mum for just over 25 years and i've always had little kids Amelia is the youngest. She's eight and she's not she's not a big person, eh? She's never gonna be a big person. She's gonna be very fatigued. Yeah. But they're all none of them are really Oh yeah, uh, I wouldn't like to come across my our oldest son in a dark alley because he would he's not mean or nasty or anything. He's a gentle giant, but he would scare anybody. He hooch. Um Cheryl P wants to know, uh, is it a virtual install? It's a hybrid, isn't it? It's a hybrid, but... Hybrid's a different next year. Don't worry about talking about it. I think a lot of people are very tired at the moment, but not driving would drive me crazy. Oh, Debbie, it's driving me nuts. Um, No, we'd love to see your wedding photos. Okay. So, it's a hybrid, but it's not a hybrid like we've ever done a hybrid before. I should really explain what it is. Well, I put all this back in place. So what's going to happen is we're going to do 
an in-store retreat and then two weeks later the, the virtual part of the retreat will happen so it is a hybrid retreat but it's going to happen in two phases so phase one will be the um in-store portion and then two weeks later we will have the online portion so people that come and do the retreat in the store they will get to um have both but they do pay a crap ton more but what it means is it means that i will actually have time to maybe sit down at the in-store retreat so when you do the in-store retreat, the classes will be all face-to-face, -face, you know, pre-organised, kind of like we used to do at an in-store retreat. And then the hybrid, the virtual, there will be videos like this weekend. Um, the product will only be available between the, the in-store portion and the virtual portion the product will only be available to people who um for that two weeks it will only be available to the people that are doing either one of the two parts of the retreat in the retreat group except for the last few days like the last week it'll be on display in the store for the week leading up to the online one but it won't go online that's just time framing we're trying to make it that we get our timings right that we're not torn between too many places but you guys are getting the best possible opportunity to to see the product interact with it and getting better classes i feel that when i do a hybrid retreat i feel a little bit torn between too many masters but then when i do an in-store retreat the people that can't come to the retreat even if they live locally or they live away are missing out and that upsets me oh hello paula as well with karen so it is a hybrid um it's kind of like a weddingy thing it's got a bit better no, no, it's not that one. Oh. We are working on a really massive wedding release. That's wrong. Right. You said six weeks and nearly had a coronary because I thought it was that No, no, one. no. This is the other one. This is the one that okay. kind of looks like, you know, oh, it's know sort of one. green yes. and cream and, I know the one you're about and, and purple, but not purple you're thinking of. Hello, Lanair. Um, Sandra has a question on YouTube. Oh, okay. If you're going to release the next retreat on Sunday, are you going to put the information on YouTube? It'll be on the um, it'll be on the online store. On the front of the online store, it will be Sandra, and we'll message you when it goes on the front of the online store, Sandra. Okay. Does everyone think of that? I think it needs some flicks of white in the background. Oh, Who taught you mixed media? I know, but I've been doing it full time. No, no. I used to do it on every page. So one of my favourite things was dipping the paintbrush into the mist bottle and, and swooshing it on the page. And I used to do that in class. People used to get awfully messy in my classes. You should never wear, you should never have worn white. You don't wear white when you come to one of my in-store classes, even though I wear white pants to work. Do you know where the white paint is? That tube of Montmartre white paint we bought recently? Well, I had to dig out a half litre bottle of golden today. I'm just going to put it upside down. I don't have it. That's the thing. So if you've got white paint, white gesso will work. Mm. Do you want white gesso? No, I want white paint. I've got plenty of it. I know you do because you've got my gesso. Shh. Shh. 
you know you've got pens there's pens underneath the ta the desk i don't know if they're yours or mine but there's pens have ended up underneath oh, the desk yours. white splats in the background is very dark liking it so far. i actually did journal my journaling today on my page with a photo i will show you okay. i'm totally sorry i do have it underneath everything yeah just don't worry about it. I'll use my own paint, thanks. Here we go. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> I used the new um, Juice It Up white pen to write on a piece of this paper one today. Oh, and it turned out really amazing. good. They are amazing. Got a little sign here challenge item don't forget to remind me everyone to do your scavenger hunt item um this retreat we're doing things a little different this virtual retreat this is our first virtual retreat where there's no bonus pack it's just the full 75 dollars i know we lost a couple of people that liked to do the virtual retreats but like to just pay the 50 dollars for six classes well now it's 75 dollars for the eight classes it was just too many different things to pack. So in your kit, you've got this pale pink cordy stuff and we're just gonna sort of twist it to get one out and then we're very lightly, and then we're just gonna pull that down a bit. I'm gonna pull one thread out. I love pulling these threads um, out. Lee's just suggesting, could you possibly stick more photos on it? Like, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get another photo on it, but I don't know how I'm gonna map the other photo. Let's just sit that there. Oh, let's get a bit more. Let's get one more strand. So what you've got to do is you've got to pull it all back so it's nice and loose again and then find one of your strands and then So let's cut these two bits of ready stuff in half. We may actually be going over to um, not showing what our retreat theme is going to be just had a little bit of an issue with showing what's going on too soon read between the lines you can read between the lines as you so choose with that but we are possibly not going to be showing everybody you have kind of probably going to have to trust us a little bit with our retreat themes coming up okay so we've got that so far but uh, we've only got that one bit of that knitted jumper. And I really like the knitted jumper, but I really would like another photo down here. So, just, oh, geez. Geez, Louise. The kit was, I'm going to say, it was awesome packing one type of kit. Oh, mate, it's so much easier. It's so much easier when you're packing one type of kit. When we're packing, like, multiple kits, it's, I've got two crystal photos there. We wrapped our lounge room last year. Was it last year we wrapped the lounge room or the year before? Definitely didn't wrap the lounge last year. There's 2019. We wrapped the lounge? Yeah. Remember we put the wrapping paper? That was 2020. Was that 2020? Oh, so we didn't wrap the lounge room last year. No, we got very bored in 2020. And I had the same, um, when I had the same idea that wrapping the lounge room would be fun. Yeah, we blocked the lounge room off with wrapping paper. And it was really awesome. Are we doing that again this year? 
Is she around? Yeah. I think she expected it last year, so we didn't do it. Wow. Did the elf move today? Yes, he did. But then we forgot to like the shit whereas like the first two. Okay. Yeah, she would have hid the recorder so that no one could steal it and get rid of it on her. Yeah, I threw it at the berry and the elf gave it. her back her recorder. After he forgot to move. Yeah, so he gave her back her recorder that Noah bought her against everyone else's wishes. He was being absolutely hilarious. I don't actually have a wedding photo in here either. I don't think. Show oh, you the for a wedding photo. No, I was looking for two Christmas photos that that can get away. from the same Christmas. Do you want the Christmas photo from the bridge? No, I want two from the same Christmas. Not two disparate Christmas photos. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I think we're going to put another photo down here. But let's do. Let's stick our background together and then flick a little bit of white paint, and then get things organised to stick down. So I'm just going to move this over here. We'll take your wedding photo off the wall here. Do you want that one up there? Yeah, but it doesn't really show the colours that well. It's got you and Dad. He's got hair. He's got hair. Okay, let's distress the edges of this baby. Oh my gosh, I'm surprised how much more it looks like it. Yeah. It's, cool. if it's dusty, you need to wipe it. Yeah, this is my Obviously, they don't look at the pictures on the wall. So I'm going to distress this piece of paper one. I remember this was 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter inches, this piece of paper one. Uh, if you want this paper, you can only buy this paper from us. It is only available from us. And it is, our paper is proper offset printed. It's not photocopy, digital printed glossy stuff. It's proper. It's the real McCoy. Dad was good looking. Dad was good looking. So kind of, this is a peach dress, you know, this sort of dark purpley colour and this is a dark green, like a really dark green silk suit and this is peach. So sort of those sort of colours and flowers sort of I know we've kind of done a pretty one this time, but it's kind of another prettyish one. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put some tape around the outside and just be gentle. Like, don't stretch the tape because otherwise that's how you get sort of buckles in your background. So nice and relaxed. And then we're gonna turn over a little bit so I do waffle a bit when I teach a class. Oh, no. You're turning it off. Oh, I don't really want to become the Eskimo. Is it cool out here? It just yeah. feels like normal. Now. Oh. Joanne F and Marie says that it's a beautiful photo. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to line it up. So we sort of like it and we think it's kind of straightish. I 
and Liz has joined us over on. Hello, Liz. Being in three places. So this is streaming to the Peace and Joy Virtual Retreat group. It is streaming to our Facebook page and the YouTube channel. So streaming to three places is very, yeah. And I made a mistake with my setup. So that's why we were on and then we were off because I made a bit of an oops a with my setup of my stream. So it's okay. What happened? Yep, we're all human. I'm definitely human. Hello. I'm not getting pain out if you're coming to hang out. What are you coming to do? But why do you say challenge item? So I don't forget to tell them what the challenge item is. Thank you, Leslie. Challenge item. Right. Are you meant to be going to bed? Did your movie finish? Yeah. Cook on a stick. Yep. Yes. Okay. Have you cleaned your teeth? Yep. So you're just here hiding from your brother because it's bedtime, aren't you? No. You are, aren't you? No, I'm waiting for Noah. Good night or oh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to do the real work. No, I want to sit with mommy. Mommy. You have to go to bed. Oh, oh, like night night. Night. Yeah. Well, Come on, love ya. Next next okay. I'm going to marry James tomorrow. I get a sleepover. Yep. Yeah. So Di and Dee and Marie and Joanne have said night night. Bye. So just a tiny bit of white paint. And some water. Yes, her hair is getting very long and she still doesn't brush it. She doesn't brush her hair. I'm just going to wet this. Make sure it's clean. That's not clean. It's not clean. My white, my small brush. That's not clean either. <laughs> Looking for a clean paintbrush. No, yours won't be clean. Can you just go and wash these out, please? Very clean. Thank Could you just go and give these a good wash, please? I don't know why. My paintbrushes are very clean. No, they're not. Excuse me, what do you call? Maybe that's not a great sound. This one. <laughs> go. It's blue. It's not blue, it's clean. Okay, let's make our fake photos while we're waiting for her to come back. So we cut this to our woolly jumper to four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So we need a four inch by four inch photo. This is a fakey photo. Now there's going to be a kit for this class. Uh, I think that's what Naomi's making. You won't get black card in it for a fake photo. That's a problem. They're not going to get black card in their kit for their fakey photo. Even though we do have black card stuck in. Yeah, we do have black cardstock. It is a different cardstock to what we need, do, you normally do. Then we're going to do another one that's four by four. So we're going to do two four by four photos. I finished two Christmas cards today. Just two four by four. Yeah, two four by four. Mix up, mix up our white paint. Jessa would be nice for this, but Jesso, remember, is a little transparent, so might not be. And this brush is still pink. So see, how I've got little tiny spots. 
I scoop up more paint, I'll get sort of bigger ones. So I want them to be, because we're going to have our circle here and then we've got our swaggy thing here and then a little cluster down here. Oh, I've got white paint on me. So let's add a little bit of water to get a different tone. So when you add a little bit more water, you get sort of bigger blotches but a lighter tone. These will be like a slightly lighter tone because it's a little bit more diluted. So if you, yeah, it just gives you a bit more difference. But we do need areas where it's not, we need areas where there's no paint. If that makes sense. Can you go and rinse this out, please? Properly, because that was not rinsed. Not my classification of rinsed. Let's put it that way. And by sticking it to the frame, it means that it's got a bit more stability and less likely to um, warp. You can see the bigger blotches are just shadows. So they've come out as just kind of like shadows. They're not white, opaque. They're just more shadows because there's a lot more water in those. So the less water there is, the more opaque they'll be. So let's move this and come back to our photos. So let's cut the middle out. of it. Oh, let's, before we cut the middle out, let's distress this one. Maybe one retreat I should do the pocket page on the Friday night. I find that Christmas photos are really good for pocket pages because I end up with heaps of photos and lots of them are bodgy. I to have this thing for taking photos of me when my hair looks terrible and I'm in PJs. And... So let's stick that on there. And then I think let's put the lights on. I think what we'll do is we'll put this on foam. This top photo. This is our feature photo. Leslie's having kittens about the way I just use those scissors in my fingers. Hey Leslie. Put a bit of tape in the middle of there. Sort of goes on the page and I'll sort of go like that. Sit that there to dry. Then I'll sort of go like that. Okay, so let's put this wreath, this beautiful wreath on foam. It's going to be a dimensional page. It's one issue with the Grinch putting the kid to bed. He's the Grinch. Hey, Noah. Shaw. Sure. Anyone else get Shaw sure as their answer to everything from their teenager? And then I'm going to put this big rust-coloured bow on foam. 
and then I'm going to put the dark coloured bauble, which is here. I'm going to put it black. Oh, I'm going to glue it on. When I attach it, I'm going to glue it. We're not using that bit. You get a smaller wreath in this as well. Great for card makers. And then this one, when it's over here, will be flat. And then let's put our... Um, let's put our memory... Merry Christmas on some foam. Now, you don't have to do things exactly the same way as I do. You can do it completely different. I'm just going to put foam on every second one here. And I've got 12 mil foam and I'm just cutting it up. I made um, some shaker cards today. Oh, I finished off some shaker cards today. And I just cut to make my strips around my circle. I actually cut... Um, the cards needed something. So I was making two. So I put shakers on them. Because I can. Um... I cut the 12 mil foam into three strips. Thank you. Sorry. You took a little bit of time. Did you have to get sidetracked mediating between the Grinch and his little sister? No, no, no. I have a bit of a glitch. A bit of a what? A bit of a glitch. A blue. Oh, they had a blue. I had a blue. Yeah, that's what I mean. Mediating between the Grinch and his little sister. Oh. Best not to ask questions. Let's put a piece of foam behind our flare button. I've got a bit of foam left. Let's leave it there. It's only dry. Oh, it is dry. Yeehaw. Where do we start? I think we need to start down the bottom here. Because we need to start down the bottom so that we don't build all of this up here and then can't fit a photo in down the bottom. So let's pop our photo in down here. And we covered up all our dots. That's okay. Let's get all our bits and bobs. And this is for a little bit of journaling, like the date. Let's move this over here. You know, like the date on this little piece here. And then we had a little gold present down here, didn't we? And one of our pieces of string. Pieces of string. Pieces of eight. You know, we could watch Pirates of the Caribbean. No, I used to call it Pirates of the Caravan. Could you so have much. photo corners out of the knitted jumper on the other photo? I become alarmed at times when you're cutting. I know. Uh, yep. And all of your teenagers were boys, weren't they, Marie? You've still got one teenager in your house, haven't you? Her teenage is a bit older than ours. I actually can't wait till all the kids are home for Christmas. Um, yes, I believe we're using all the card cut bits from the... Uh, no, we've got pine cones and a small wreath left. But all of them are from the large wreath pack. Yes, yeah, they're from the wreath pack, the wreath builder for uh, peace and joy. We do have another wreath builder, but I don't have a pack of it here. It is um, traditional Christmas. I'll show you the colour cuts we did release today. We released a couple of packs of colour cuts. So there's this wreath builder that we're using. The windows and doors. 
golden frames and there is the pretty in pink how about i show you what's in pretty in pink can i do that while i just stop for a moment let me just show you what's in here it's got 27 pieces pretty in pink yep i'm the person that creates all the online store files it creates all the files i design the product though create the product. It says pretty in pink how cool and I know Peace and Joy is a Christmas collection, but Pretty in Pink is pretty, it's pink, and it's got Happy Birthday in it. Because <laughs> I can. Because I can design whatever I like. I made a few of these pink bows. If I'm going to spend the time to make a bow pink, I'm going to make a few of it. And a couple of these little blocks for journaling on with the new pen. That's why I've been hunting around for a really good white pen is because I knew I needed good bright white pens to go with my um, little journaly block things. So there we go. That's what's in the pretty and pink pack. I love it. It's so cute. Pull that back. Uh, what else did we release today? Two Creative Builders. There is a matching Creative Builder to this Pretty in Pink. And there is a um, Golden Christmas one that matches the Wreath Builder. So I'll show you that as well. So we do have two Creative Builders we released today and some rice papers and some vellums. Me. Loving that. So this is the Pretty in Pink Creative Builder. Does it reflect, does it? No. And this is the Golden Christmas. Let's put it over this side where it doesn't reflect. So there you go. So we've got two Creative Builders. And then we've got spot vellum let's put these here spot vellum matches uh, which piece of paper is it? it's this one paper number six oh. yeah paper six matches that i made those spots out of little circles don't ask how long that took because that's just i don't want to have to lie to you and tell you it didn't take millions of hours uh, then we've got the leaf pattern and it's the grey leaves that's from paper number five. So it's a very fine, it's much finer than, than paper five. So it's in a different size. Then we've got the woolen jumper. Oh no, let's do vellum first. Keep going. The pink houndstooth from the back of paper number four, but smaller. I worked in retail fashion um, through the 90s when, um, in the late 90s when houndstooth was in. I love houndstooth. Lace frames in a fussy cut one. If you're faint hearted and don't like fussy cutting, probably don't buy that one. But yeah, they are vellum frames to fussy cut. I'd leave a tiny border around them when I was fussy cutting them. And they're in pale pink. Then we have the little flowers that I love so much. These are similar to the ones for On Safari, but On Safari were more maroney, pinky colour and darker. These are more um, peachy beige colour. And then we have those in a Fussy Cut Essentials. So it's not quite as heavy as our Creative Builders. It's a lighter weight, so it's good to Fussy Cut and shape. That's a customer request. And then in the rice paper, oh, we also have this collage print from paper one as a vellum. As a vellum. As a vellum. There you go. Have that on a vellum. That's my mat that's making that. And then we have that as a rice paper as well. So a rice tissue collage paper. It's actually mulberry paper. It's the European standard rice paper. Actually is made in Europe. 
this product um, but we we print it in-house trust me I threatened the printer the other day with a hammer wasn't happy it was just driving me nuts couldn't even wash my hands in the end I was just sick of having to dig inside the printer for pieces of chewed up rice paper and this is the frames from paper three so they're slightly smaller slightly smaller in a rice paper um, and that's what we released today tomorrow we'll be releasing flare buttons and we're doing a weekly roundup tomorrow as well Uh, they have to watch tomorrow night to see all the linen cuts and the title cuts and watch the video in the morning or sometime tomorrow there's lots of titles and lots of picture cuts and Naomi did all those or most of them well did you do all of them or nearly all of them there you go she did them all we had a lot of moments. She was learning. She's doing very well. We had some disasters. Deleted a few files. Cut out some. Made a lot of confetti. We've got these big massive festive words that if you get them as a freebie, yay, yay. Yeah. Because I don't feel any of our packaging. Yeah, we've got a word that doesn't fit in any of our packaging and I am not getting new packaging just for one word. Just telling you that. I've just done new packaging. Now we've got a candy cane. And then a gift that we're going to put on foam. Just Hello, Lorraine. How are you? Um, she was on the phone call with her nine-year-old auntie. Oh, wow. Um, everyone loves the new films and stuff. Probably won't be able to do since they'll get tennis tomorrow because she's taking the kids out for a ride. So, I am trying to release everything sort of a little more staggered this time so that we're not putting everything out at once. What, what, what's um, Jacqueline saying about a cup handle leftover piece? Huh? As a challenge in a class scenario, a cup handle leftover piece. What yeah, I've got a leftover cup handle from a class. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. Jacqueline, you don't want to see her face. Okay. And this bow's on fire, remember? I'm going to stick it in one of the layers. I've got issues with my thread. I can't put weird things in my art or in my creations. Okay. This is nearly out. What is? Blue. Yeah. Can you refill it again? Yeah. Put that on. Okay. Hey, I'm nearly done plastic. So you have to come to cl to watch the weekly roundup tomorrow morning. Is it tomorrow? We're going to do it tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning to see all of the items for peace and joy. And then, yeah, 
tomorrow night you'll get to see them again. So we're going to sit this here and see how I'm putting my wreath so it's it's just down from the top but it's going over the edge here. And then let's add our banner, a Merry Christmas banner. And see how I'm letting my banner come down onto my photo, just just hanging over the top of my photo here a little. And then what we're going to do is put our photo here. I think we might just be too far that way. Stick our and I'll pull this off when I go to um, stick my photo on my actual photo. And I think instead of having this up here, I think we're going to move this bow down to here. I'm going to put this bauble on foam. Now that we've changed our plan a little. Helen's just joined us and Deborah's been working in the background in this class. She's uh, us Oh, okay. It's such a versatile collection to mix and match with... Uh, Collection. Yeah, which is what I try and do. It's hanging straight, kind of. Oh, geez, I forgot me. Stringy stuff. Because we were sending it from Queensland with Australia Post. Well, I'm now back to very polite saying I'm truly sorry that I arrived early, but it's been unpredictable. Yeah. I don't like the ends of the string being out. Here we go. It's all stuck back down now. Okay. We'll get to that. I like that. With stringy stuff under there. So let's chuck our stringy stuff under there. Sorry I'm not saying much. got to be inside the boundary and then we need to put our bauble sort of try and visualize like where things are going to go the bauble there so it's sort of hanging down straight 
but see how I'm keeping things so they're sort of together. They're sort of connected in a way. And then we've got our little bit of glue on our flare button and then we want our flare button to sort of sit here. Well, I just need to tuck some stringy stuff in there. So this is where you sort of write a little bit of information, but you've got plenty of space here. I think a little bit of journaling. Like you can write the date and whose house it was at or, you know, like the year on here. But to write a heap of journaling here, like in a white pen, would look really nice. You can see how white paint's not in your face because we've watered it down just slightly and then we've watered it down a fair bit more. So we've got two different tones, which looks really good. Well, I think it does. That's my opinion. Radio. So how to add stringy stuff. Let's not have stringy stuff there. There we go, that's how we add it. So if you put these tape backings in your garden beds, like we put um, paper and tape backings and all that sort of stuff in the bottom of our garden beds as weed suppressant, it does break down eventually. It just takes a bit longer, but the glossy stuff. But Okay. What are we going to put in our scavenger hunt for tonight? Let's do a piece of paper too. A piece of paper too. Like a full sheet of paper too. We're going to have that, add that to our bag. If you're doing the virtual retreat, you know what I'm talking about. This is our scavenger hunt. This is our selfie challenge page. So I'm adding a piece of paper too to my bag. Oh, you know what I could do with that cup handle tomorrow? What? No, you're not adding the cup handle to the scavenger hunt bag for the people to use. That is dodgy. It's not dodgy. It's it is dodgy. Terrible material. Righty oh, yeah. What do we think? Oh, and I've got pine cones left, but I didn't use my pine cones. Has anyone thought about a plan for their scavenger hunt selfie challenge page yet? Be interesting to see what everyone does. I was saying didn't have a chance of this. Like, I love this range. Is that a fussy cutting or someone just Yeah. We need a contrast. Uh, um one thing I find with a lot of paper collections is they either do lots of dark or lots of light. You've got to have different tones and things that go together. I should actually show you the paper, all of the paper for Peace and Joy. I didn't show you what the paper is. I forget that there's people on here that aren't doing it. Um, so this is paper one. I don't have lots of sheets of everything left in my pack. I started with three of some of them. So this is paper one. So I've used one side of paper one. And this is a collage I made. So I've made that from millions of layers. Look, you can see the lace frame is in here. So they're those lovely lace frames that we've got as um, as vellum fussy cards. A bit of music in there. And music the right way around, just so you know. Um, and this is made to match these 
these like dark, almost black, almost gray, almost purple baubles and different bits and pieces. And then we've got paper two, like fine paper two. It's got that stripe on it, hasn't it? So this is paper two with like the mushroomy gray sort of stripe. So it's a different color as well. And then it's got the large fussy cuts. I always do a sheet with large fussy cuts. So these are really awesome. I used the cookies on my pocket page and the big hot chocolate on my pocket page today. Um, and I've used this frame on my scrapbook page earlier today. There is a really big version of this in like a um, pinky color in my Dreamland collection from 2021. And then paper number three, this is a little bit left. So this is paper number three. Um, yeah, I've used three pages of this. I love this. No one bought it singly in the pre-purchasing in the retreat group. Because when you do one of our retreats, whether it's hybrid, virtual, in-store or whatever, we do a pre-purchase uh, where you can buy extras and buy the products ahead of time. I didn't show in that group everything that's in the kit, so they haven't had a chance to buy some of the things because they're in their kit. But, yeah, so this is the frames I made and then this. This is very similar to one I did in blue for Divided to Them. So, um, yeah, I love this. I can't wait to see it with photos behind it. So that's number three. And then number four, let's see if we've got a full sheet of four still. Here we go. This is day one. Number four, this goes with our 222 two, 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 two Cute collection that got an expansion, a reboot and expansion a couple of weeks ago. Um, so it's got the hounds too. And then we've got the hearts, the triangles, the spot. So it is this spot made a bit different with the pink. And then we've got the woolly jumper. I had a jumper like that when I was a kid. Um, so they're just wondering to know if they have to use one particular size of paper too or either side. I think it's either side. It's a piece of paper too. Just do what you like. Whatever you want with it. Uh, now paper number five has a leaf print on it in that pretty grey. And it's got a bit of a lineniness to it, the, the print. A bit of texture and then it's the first of the two fussy cut main fussy cut sheets so it's all pretty easy to fussy cut the flowers sort of stumped a few people because they're small but don't fussy cut them if you don't want to but everything else is fairly simple i made sure you don't have to cut out around the that there but i did i cut around the candy cane because i'm nuts um this is meant to be a dog but i'm pretty sure it's a rabbit uh apparently it's a dog but i'm telling you it's a rabbit um the artist says it's a dog. That's what her dog must look like, but it's a rabbit. Um, They're wanting to see the project page from the pocket page. Oh, the pocket page, yep, yep, yep. And then I'll show you the last piece of paper is with the spots I made out of actual little spots. I made this paper from lots of circles. <laughs> I did make that from circles. You nuts. I nuts, but it looks really good. And I sampled the colours from all the different elements in in here so i you know i've got the rusty red and i've got this dark almost gray almost black almost purple color and then i've got the gold and then i've got the two different there's two different pinks there's actually three different pinks in here um shades so i've got the different shades of pink and that sort of thing so and then the grays the different shades of the gray um and then on the back of that is more so I made this this timber. It's got collage. It's got like quadrifoil on it. Karen, Karen H is on the page. So is Marie. Uh, Jack Honey Greens. It's definitely a dog. Uh, Chloe has a suggestion that they sold her a rabbit but told her it was a dog. Yeah. Um, Lots of like dots and confetti. Jacqueline says, do you made a bit of a typo, but that was because you fell on the keyboard. <laughs> well, Sally fell on the keyboard. I love that. <laughs> Happened to me the other day. Noah has had to swap keyboards because something happened to his keyboard and it just was clicking things all over the place. So we've had to swap out keyboards, poor bugger. Um, Lorraine says it's a Christmas rabbit. Easter will have a reindeer. Yep, <laughs> yep. Well, and uh, Diane B has just joined us. 
Cool. Maybe Hello. The triplet, the triplet grandsons. grandsons. Oh, they would keep you very busy. Maybe. Um, so, yeah, these are the other fuzzy cuts, and I've made this pretty timber. There is a flare button that matches this. It's got blotches and different things on it. Um, and then these are more. You can see there's two different tones to the fussy cuts. So we've got another smaller one of this banner that's in the wreath builder uh, pack. And then I'm loving doing these mat these barely fit in the packet actually. This wreath. I'm loving doing yeah. big color cuts. Like I'm really exploring doing big color cuts. I've done some really small items, like in cottage mm -hmm. garden. I made just super small items. And now I'm experimenting with huge things, like huge koalas. I prefer the bigger ones. No, nah, John prefers the big one. But when the big ones stuff up, they stuff up in a really huge way. Oh, it's machine time stroke. Also, this and, kit tonight is $11.80 before we add. So that's the two. So we've got piece, paper four, paper one, paper three, the reef colour cuts and the flare. And how much is it? Eleven eighty. Do you want to do a neat eleven? Eleven fifty. Most of eleven fifty. Um. So yeah. So they're. Um. These are from our Choose Kindness collection. These windows, but we've I've adjusted them. But yeah. So that's the paper. And let's have a look at the project so far. So when you do one of our um, virtual retreats, you do get to do, so there's $75 and you get a kit that, will, there is chipboard in here. We're making a mini book tomorrow afternoon. Um, we are, may not be fully decorated. There's vellum in here. There's color cuts. There's fussy cuts. There's bead and sequin mix. There's all different types of papers and cards cardstock there's glitter card there's you know there's really there's a lot of stuff and you know like then you got things like the flat gift and peace and joy what else have i got in here and jolly these are things you'll see tomorrow jolly it's new there's a car picture cut there's a cookie jar no one's seen the cookie jar there's cookies you know, there's just tons. See, it's a rabbit. Um, see, I, see, when I cut out, I cut things out. Yeah, I'm nutty. Okay. Um, we haven't done the close-up pages yet on the page. Yeah. Just the so we've got a scrapbook page, a pocket page. Can you see that without there? Pocket page. Over here, to that pocket page, and then we've got this one. So I'm going to show you for your screenshots. Take your screenshots of it. So Naomi John's just getting the love the car ones. They're really cool. Yep, the car is really cool. Nat, <laughs> the first car was a bit. Mm, yep, had solid doors and 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 bits missing and. But it's okay. I do interesting things where letters fall off when we cut mm -hmm. them. Like you mad my day because the E fell off when we cut them. Um, when you see the wish you a Merry Christmas, the ish is separate. Okay, it just looks odd when we add the ish to it though. Yeah, it doesn't look right when the ish is attached. So Nami's really extended herself. And some of them are terrible things to cut because they have lots and lots of damaged ones and they're terrible to pick and just all you, girly girl, because you designed them. You I'm will get smart. Them, and I will, and I'm gonna pick them. She's going to be smarter with the next lot. She helps me design. So at first they're just going to say they were designed by me, but then we're going to start, then she's going to go through and she's going to put her name on everything that she designed, okay? So we're going to do that. But at first, we're just going to duplicate products to make them because we've got tons with this collection, tons and tons and tons. And there's lots and lots of flare buttons. Okay, we've got some flare buttons in here to show you. 
Yeah, we've got all Oh, look, cookies. Noah ran out of cookies the other day. Obviously, cookies. I love the cookies. Oh, we did forget to put the disclaimer in the packaging. They're not edible. They're not edible cookies. As Amelia pointed out multiple times today, we'll help with that. And then there's that, that almond. I love that, how that turned out. Um, well, that's my cookie again. And this is the heart print. We do have a much smaller heart print in Swan Princess. So that's a much bigger heart. Oh, what's that one? Oh, and this is from my favourite paper. From the beige spot. The goldy beige spot. So there we go. Love this big ornament. Look at that. And it's pretty on the back. You could just decorate it up and put it on a tree oh and the bead and sequin mix is live in the online store there are pink sequins in here that don't have holes in them they were my most awesome find ever is sourcing sequins without holes in them i've got some different ones in there lots of really cool clear ones so there we go that's us for tonight. Tomorrow is a big day. Night, night all, and have a great time at retreat. We will. We miss you, Leslie, when you're on retreat. Thank you for tonight's class. Haven't started yet. Had a birthday tea for our eight year old grandson. Oh, well, happy birthday. Is he baking today? Well, there you go. And that's the thing with designing our own products, D, is we can make them that they do interact with each other. There is actually, but I don't know how to include it. So Purple Christmas is meant to be released next on Monday. And Quentin told me that he doesn't think that's an achievable thing at this point in time. He reckons I'm going to be too buggered to release Purple Christmas on Monday and to do a video Monday morning. Oh, I think on Monday night, I think we're going to do another ribbon extravaganza. Is everyone okay with a ribbon extravaganza on Monday night? I've got different ribbons. Like, we've got millions of ribbons. I might chuck in some flowers as well because I've got some jars of flowers I really can't get online. So I might chuck in some flowers too. There is a purple one of these I have made, and it looks awesome, I think. But I don't know what I'm going to put it in. I haven't, I haven't managed to get it into a product yet. So I made a purple one of these. What's that? Just a single colour cut of a purple car. All different sizes. All different size purple cars. Purple and pink cars. Purple and pink cars. Barbie there you go. A Barbie edition of Christmas. There you go. So. Five seconds to get to Barbie. Pam said she loves ribbons. So yeah, I'm going to dig out probably some flowers as well. Some loose single flowers. Um, but we might do them as mix, mixed ones or something, or I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with those because, you know, we might have three green ones and 50 blue ones and 10 red and yeah. Are you suggesting a car range? A car range. I know. I'm trying to get nice cars. It's all American cars. Apologize to anyone that's American. Thanks for not heading up the sunny coast tomorrow for... Three weeks we'll only be able to catch bits and pieces so just in case Merry Christmas everyone have a you too Joanne come to the sunny coast it's only another couple of hours to Gladdy Joanne you think you might have to have a day trip to Gladdy sometime come and visit us yep everyone was a few of them were chatting the other day in one of the group one of the messenger groups about doing a, a road trip to Gladdy road works yeah but Joanne wishes. You, you, you never know. Be, you wouldn't want to be a my car on a road trip currently. It's got no air con. It's like yeah, a Naomi John's got no air con, so I think she's going to swap out for Grandma's car that's parked up here. I think we're going to swap her out into Grandma's car for summer. I do like my car. I know, but Grandma's guess. car's got air conditioning. But I love my guests. Yep. It's my baby. So thank you very much for coming along. If you're doing the virtual retreat, we will see you tomorrow morning. If you're not, We'll see you tomorrow morning because tomorrow morning we're going to do our weekly roundup. We're going to show you everything that goes with peace and joy. That's one of our cats outside being beaten up. 
Um, we're going to show you everything for peace and joy, even the things that aren't loaded yet. So you'll know, be able to write yourself a bit of shopping list. Um, it does take time to load them all, and I'm trying to load them in increments. I'm not. I'm trying not to drown ourselves out with that you can't find the items. Um, the kids are just going to go and say, Madeline. I think it was Madeline getting chased. Poor Maddie Mouse. She waits outside for Quentin at night while he's working at Coles. She loves her dad. Probably because he's the only one that feeds her. Is she coming in? She's watching the fence. She's watching the fence. Okay. So we will see you tomorrow. And Naomi John's first class, our first class for retreat tomorrow is at 10 o'clock. And that first is. First class of the day is at 7 a.m. Oh, first class of the day. If you're doing, um, she's all right. She's just come in. She just gets chased a lot. Um, if you're doing, if you bought an advent kit from us for an Art by Marlene advent kit, your class is around seven in the morning with Naomi John. Gee, Willikers. So what have we got tomorrow? Advent kit class. Weekly roundup with peace and joy release. Three virtual retreat classes and a Zoom. Oh, holy dooly. Actually, we did that today, except not the weekly roundup. There we go. Okay, so we'll see you all tomorrow. I think I need to go and sleep. <laughs> so thank you very much. Take care. Stay safe. If you're watching this later, hello and welcome. If you came along and said hello and I didn't say hello, hello. If you didn't say hello, hello. If you left a lovely comment, thank you. Um... We really appreciate you all and um, we appreciate your support because this is our, I know Quentin is packing shelves at Coles to buy groceries at the moment, but this is our everything. And we manufacture, the paper's printed for us in Brisbane, but we manufacture everything else ourselves. So, oh, except other brands, but we do a lot of our own. So thank you all. Take care, stay safe, and we will see you tomorrow in one of the, many 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 things we're doing with you all online tomorrow thanks bye